usually Alexandra Trusova makes a fuss in May. In 2020, she sensationally left to Terry Tutberids for Yevgeny Plushenko, and a year later, at the start of the pre-Olympic offseason, she returned to Krustelny. Now the information bomb exploded at the very beginning of October, surprisingly, after the test skates, to which the skater arrived under the guidance of a Terry Georgievna's headquarters. Sasha found a new home in CSKA with Svetlana Sokolovskaya, her boyfriend Mark Kondratyuk also trains there. In general, the very fact of the transition is quite logical, and not only because of the already mentioned Kondratyuk. The post-Olympic season is, in principle, created for experiments, whether it is a coaching transition, a radical change in image or learning a super difficult jump that no one has performed before you. Well, the post-Olympic season 2022-2023 is even more so. International competitions are closed for Russian skaters. No one will add to the piggy bank either the world champion title, or the European champion medal, or even the winner of the Grand Prix final. And Trusova will be able to get into the top three on the Volga pirouette in semi-combat uniform, even if she takes herself out onto the ice herself. Even in the previous Olympic cycle, there was an impression that Sasha did not need a coach in the full sense of the word. She went to Plushenko, because she could not find stability with Tutberids, she fell from the quads and lost to classmates Elena Kostornaya and Anna Skrbekova. The story repeated itself for the new mentor. At the World Championships, Trusova failed the short program and took bronze, losing not only to Skrbekova, but also to Elizaveta Tuktemesheva. During the second coming to Krustelny, Alexandra conquered the five quad at the Olympics, but the fall from the triple axle in the first type of competition cost her the coveted gold. An excellent explanation also follows from the insider reason for the new transfer. According to RIA Novosti Sport, Trusov was no longer satisfied with the heavy training regimen in the Tutberids group, which, according to the skater, aggravated her injuries. At the test skates, Sasha performed with a back injury, due to which she had to withdraw from the free program. And Sokolovskaya, at the same time, very successfully and carefully brought Sofia Somodolkina to the rentals, who was healing a serious leg injury. Anyway, 15-year-old Sonia is an excellent sparring partner for Trusova. And then there are the quadman Kondrat Yuk and Alexander Samarin, so the Russian rocket and its quads will remain in good shape. Everything is clear and understandable. In the Tutberids group they will not change the principles and will not reduce the load for the injured Trusova, and in CSKA she will be able to play for her own pleasure until cutting for international titles is planned. Breaking down for the sake of the Russian Grand Prix is really stupid. And what will happen in four years, no one knows. But what the hell is not kidding. What if Russia will be allowed to Milan 2026, and Sasha will be able to recover? In this transfer, only one thing does not justify the skater, no matter how ridiculous it may sound. All previous transitions Sasha made out rank by rank, after the end of the season in a specially designated transfer window, and the second time even with a press release, where everything was put on the shelves and officially commented to avoid emissions. And everything was clear with the programs, Apassionata and Romeo and Juliet and the Angels of Plushenko were staged by Sergei Rosanov, the Olympic Frida and Cruella, Daniil Glekangals. Therefore, one could only laugh at the words of the head of Samba 70, Renat Leyeshev, about betrayal. And this time, Trusova acted worse than Elena Kostornaya, she, having criticized the programs of Glacian House in the summer of 2020, fled to Plushenko in the middle of the off-season. Sasha even managed to show a lyrical short program in a stylish emerald dress, positively standing out from the usual creations of Olga Ryabenko. And suddenly, such a turn. Flowers for Tutberids, when leaving, have long become a meme and overgrown with grass, and you can treat the mentor and her ambiguous character in different ways. But while we do not know the details, Sasha's act looks tritely impolite, and this cannot but upset. The choreographer of the group Ateri Tutberids Alexei Zeleznikov commented on the departure of Alexandra Trusova to coach Svetlana Sokolovskaya. I don't know for sure, because I haven't been to Krustelny, but if Trusova actually left, then good riddance. If Alexandra believes that this will help her, then let her help, which I strongly doubt. I am very calm about this transition, let him go further and look for new coaches. You need to understand yourself, and not look for new coaches. Will it help her to progress and develop further? I highly doubt it. No, it won't help, said Zeleznikov. At the junior stage of the Grand Prix in Gdansk, figure skaters from Asia showed themselves best, Japanese and Korean women, who occupied the entire podium. Mao Shimada from Japan won the stage gold. In the short program, the young skater decided not to risk it and did a classic set without Ultra C, a loop, which is a mandatory element for juniors, a double axle and a combination of triple Lutz and Toloop. 
Mao is only 13 years old, so she cannot show good skating yet, which can be seen on the step sequence. There is a clear alignment of movements and the diligence with which the Japanese woman takes every step. For the short program, Shimada received 68.81 points and took an intermediate second place. In the free skate, the skater decided to show her maximum. The 13-year-old athlete performed a pure triple axle and a quadruple toe loop. A good axis is visible in the axle, as in a textbook, there was a little pre-rotation on toe loop. Mao did the rest of the content cleanly, these are complex 3-2-2 combinations and solo triples. For the free program, Shimada received 148.87 points, a total of 217.68, and confidently took first place. Another Japanese Monet Tiba became the silver medalist of the stage. The figure skater is already 17 years old, and commentators noted another interesting fact of her biography. Monet was born in Sendai, where the two-time Olympic champion Yuzuru Hanyu is from. In the short program, the skater did the same content as Mao, double axle, Lutz toe loop and triple loop. But here on Tib's side was skating, smoother and more precise lines, without too much persistence. So, after the short program, she took first place with a score of 70.16. In the free program, skating and experience did not become an argument in favor of the skater. Monet cleared the program with triples, very beautifully and accurately. Against the quadruple toe loop and triple axle, no components will help. For an arbitrary, Tiba received 135.66 points and 205.82 in total. The third was Chan Kim from Korea. The figure skater is 15 years old, and she also made the most difficult content in the short program without Ultra C, like other medalists. Separately, it is worth mentioning the program, despite its young age, it shows complex choreography. True, this does not reach Mona skating, therefore 67.61 points and an intermediate third place after the short one. In the free program, Cheyenne also did not perform Ultra C elements, but passed with good triple content. She had a small blot at the exit of the sequence and she also had too long a stretch between jumps. In the free program, Kim also stood out with interesting choreography and precise execution of all steps. For an arbitrary Korean woman received 127.85 points and 195.46 in total. Athletes from different countries do not stand still, they improve even without the participation of Russian athletes. As you can see from the results of this Grand Prix event, Ultra CS are still a big deal, especially if the rest of the program is clean.